Hey guys, today I'm going to be answering some of your most frequently asked questions in regards to using tissue in your small pet's cage. Tissue of any kind is fine to use in your pet's cage. Everything from regular toilet tissue to serviettes or tissue that you blow your nose on or even regular kitchen roll. The brand of the tissue really doesn't make a difference so it's not something you'll need to worry about. Although I would suggest that when it comes to kitchen tissue you opt for the cheaper version simply because the more expensive versions tend to be advertised as not breaking down as easily so that you can wipe up messes in your kitchen without getting your hands soaked and they're still safe however it's always a better option to have something that will break down more easily and the cheaper ones tend to do that if your hamster does decide to ingest any of the tissue they're not going to have any health problems they would have to consume a very very large amount for it to pose any risk to them and that's just not likely to happen most of the time when you see a hamster putting tissue in their mouths, they're actually pouching it to take it somewhere else. But if they do happen to swallow any, it's just going to break down in their system naturally and come back out the other end. Tissue can be used absolutely anywhere in your small pet's cage, although most people tend to use it in just the nesting area as it's soft, warm and you can use a lot of it. If you do decide to use tissue throughout your entire cage, there are two things you'll need to keep in mind. The first is that tissue has no odour control, so your cage is likely to get more smelly more quickly. The other is that tissue does not make a good burrowing material so you'll need to provide your hamster with some kind of dig box or burrowing area so that they can practice their natural burrowing habits. Another option you have for tissue is instead of just using it on its own in your cage you can do what we currently have in our winter themed cage and that is using regular substrate along the bottom and then using tissue along the top. This just adds an extra fun layer in, it's fun for your hamster to play in, adds a bit of extra warmth to the cage but you still have the odour control and burrowing experience from the substrate below. And the final query you guys often have in regards to tissue is are the tubes inside the rolls safe to give to your pet afterwards and yes they absolutely are, they're one of the most popular budget friendly toys for your hamster, your hamster will love to play with them, love to chew on them, they're perfectly safe and of course they save you money as well which is a bonus. One little tip with cardboard tubes though is to cut a line all the way down the middle so your hamster will never get get stuck inside them. So I hope that's all your questions answered. If you have any more, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.